Ah, good afternoon. So, uh, as you know, we're doing a bit of DIY, and uh, Sheree has got me to make some shells for the living room. So, I'm going to show you how to turn this old fence post used to hold our gate up into this. So the best bit about this project is um, it actually only takes about, what do you reckon Shree, half an hour, 40 minutes? Half an hour, 40 minutes to turn this into a lovely rustic shelf. I'm good at rustic, because basically rustic is another word for shit. Um, and you don't need much accuracy. Shabby shite, yeah, as we like to call it. Um, but thankfully shabby shite is all the rage, so we're buzzing. Now, what you're going to need is a heat gun, which is about 12 quid, uh, a sander with two different discs, again about 15 quid. Now, you want a roughish disc and then a smoothish one. I don't know what grit they are, don't bother asking me. Um, this is the key. This stuff is wax and it transforms it gets all in the grain, makes it stand out and look cool. The colour of choice for us is rustic pine. Oh my god. The wax is melting. Where's it At the lid that's not on properly. False. It's too Typical false. Is it only there? No, it's all over the table. Oh yeah. And probably the floor. <laughs> Why don't we hand on that? No, that's not the put it on then. Oh, it's all going wrong. <laughs> oh crap. What a disaster. What are you doing? You scratch the door? I'm sure you scratch the door inside now. Apparently that's my fault because I'm out here. Um, probably a good thing to do is uh, not leave the wax in the sun. Because if you do, apparently it melts. Can you put that in the fridge? Thanks, babe. Thanks, Shaz. Oh dear. The table's ruined. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's ruined. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'll show you how to do it. That was a bit of a disaster. But anyway, getting back to it. You need a heat gun. You need a sander. 
two sanding discs. Um, depending on how rustic you want it, or how rustic your wood already is, I like to use an axe. Everyone needs an axe. A hammer. Something for taking nails out. Something for taking screws out. So this bit of wood has got a few screws in it. I'll take the new ones out. And they are um, the rusty ones. I'm gonna keep them in. So look, look quite good at the end. Next bit's a bit boring. It's basically give it its first sand. For that, you want the rougher of the two sanding discs. Let's do it. So, key thing when you're sanding it, look how that's so smooth compared to that roughness. Ow! Um, but you're going to get these edges, round the edges off the corners. One, because you don't want to walk into it. Maybe sharp, but two, makes it that little bit more rustic. So, completely sand it. And I'll show you the next bit. So, stage one of sanding done. As I say, when you do it, make sure you round the corners off, round these edges off. Um, and remember as well, depending on how high you fit your shelf, sometimes you're going to see the underside actually more than the, the top. So make sure both sides are sanded nicely. And then the next bit is with the uh, give it that shabby shallot look so here's what you do for that so basically to make it shabby shallot batter it all Sheree's not very good at this bit for some reason she's too delicate she's got to go for it open there yeah, it's quite easy to get carried away with that, but sometimes less is more. So, just bash them, bash them bits out. The reason you do this is, wherever you make a mark, the wax is going to go in. Give you a nice dark. So, once you've bashed it up, the next front bit is the uh, heat gun. Basically, burn the shit out of it. And when you're burning it, less is more. And if you're going to do like a burnt patch, I always try and want it to look as natural as you can. Like it's actually been on fire. More so, you can just use it to just darken a section so that the wax takes in a different way.
Okay, so done some knackering up, done some burning. Now, one more sand with the rough one, and wax some wax on it. Okay, so that's all the prep done, ready for the wax. Last job, give it a little blast off with this. <clears throat> Just gets rid of all the dust out of the uh, nooks and crannies. Not actually burning out this time, just cleaning it more than anything. Sweet, let's wax it. I'm guessing this is not ideal. After my little incident with the wax, it's uh, it's gone a bit odd. I've got sure to put it in the fridge. But, yeah, we'll chuck it on, see what happens. It's a bit messy, this bit. And uh, probably ought to wear some gloves in that really, but I'll just get an old rag. Oh my god, this is really wet. Yeah. Just uh whack it, whack it on. And wherever you've got dimples, make sure you get plenty in so it goes right inside. And already stuff to completely transform it. <laughs> Don't sand it properly, you'll get a splinter. So, there you have it all. Nicely waxed. I don't think this is the ideal environment out in the sun, but you can see that when you put the marks in, it gives you that nice effect, the darkness. That's the next bit I, um, I just do. I don't know if you're supposed to do it or not, but I like to just go over it with a finer sandpaper and then buff it up by hand. I'll show you that bit. Next bit, finer sanding pad. This is dead quick. Obviously, depending on what look you're going for, I find that just gives it a little bit, a little bit more contrast. No, fine a bit, a dry cloth, hold on, the hole in preferably. Buff it up, give it a bit of a shine.
Shabby chic. Or shabby shit. Oh, my breath. So, in terms of fixing it to the wall, obviously, buy some brackets. Um, you get the like, industrial looking ones off eBay for like 10 quid a set or something. Um, for this job, I'm using these, which um, Chelsea table legs like I made this, this table out of. Um, and all I've done, screw that on the wall, like that, like that, put the shaft across it. Actually, it's worked to treat. Well, I think it was enough. I don't know how to press it. Just breaks out a little bit. So there you go. Shabby short shelf, less than 30 minutes. It's actually about 35 minutes, but still, not long at all. That wax. Uh, sorry, killed it then. Uh, that wax, which is this stuff. Costs about I don't know, seven or eight pounds a pot. Piece of scrap wood. Probably the tools off someone if you haven't got them. You can make a couple of shelves for less than 20 quid all day long and they look decent. Thanks for watching.